Okay, yeah, you just charge it and I'm not. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good morning. Uh, my name is Carolina Strain. I'm the creative editor here at the Victoria Advocate, and with me is. I'm Catherine Cargo, the business and agriculture reporter at and the Victoria Advocate. And so um, we're about to get started here by looking at today's paper. Thank you so much, Catherine. Yes, ma'am. Let's see. All right. I'm going to try this picture in picture thing with you guys. I don't know if it'll be a hit, but let me know. Uh, so at the on the front of the newspaper today, we've got a story about film camp um, held over by the Rosebud Fountain and Grill. And so this is a great program put on by Anthony Pedoni and Film Exchange and uh, Jake Ramirez, who's um, a photographer and local artist. They get together and um, teach these kids some filmmaking skills. So it looks like a lot of fun. And actually this Friday and Saturday, you'll be able to see some of the films from this camp um, at Slumber. And that's at the VIST Fine Arts Center. And let's see, driver wins uh, 240000 from insurance company. Uh, so this is about Warren Lee Golke. Um, not sure if I'm saying that right. He um, was awarded lots of money for um, an injury that he suffered. It was life changing. So, and new VISD teachers prepare to energize uh, student learning. This is by Gabriella Canales. Um, Jamie Fortanas, a first year teacher, spent the summer gathering online bargain books and garage sales garage sale treasures to stock her first grade classroom at De Leon Library. Very nice. Uh, but this is a photo of Shelby Kastner. And let's see, I'm just going to look and see if I can see the stream on my phone so I can look at comments if y'all have any. Alright. And let's see. There's a report, Trump is considering Perry for Homeland Security. So that's interesting. And it's, I don't know if y'all woke up to the rain today, but we're expected to have um, more rain in the next two days. Let's see, Thursday. Oh, so tonight is a community outreach forum at um, from 6 to 8 p.m. at UHV's North Building. And so you'll get to uh, meet officers that patrol your neighborhood and get information on patrol zones that you live in. So definitely a good, uh, good, good thing to check out, especially if you have kids and you're about to start a new school year. Would be good to know um, who's watching. Purple Out the Park on Friday. Uh, this is benefiting the Alzheimer's Association. It's a tailgate with music, barbecue, and beer starts at 5 p.m. Let's see, American Legion Steak Night. Dinner and a movie, Fast Times at Ridmont, Ridgemont High. That's at the Rosebud Fountain and Grill at 7 p.m. See, last night they had The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. I wonder how that went. I love that movie. And um, the Film Society is actually showing that not this week, but next week. So if you missed it, you'll get a chance to see it again. And Friday through Saturday, we've got the 15th annual Readin', Ridin', and Reelin' Fishing Tournament. That's at the Port O'Connor Community Center. All right, and Bayfront Beats at Bayfront Peninsula Park at 6 p.m. It's free. It's free, and the Picker, Pickers Patch Market Days has an event at 8:30 a.m. on Saturday. Christine Vera is watching. Hey, Christine, nice to see you. And Ken Tit, nice to see you. And Allison Paul Griffin, great. I hope y'all are all having a great morning. And let's see. World Series of Quero, Texas Hold'em. That's at the venue at, uh, on East Church Street in Quero. Saturday matinee, Little Giants. That's at the Rosebud Fountain and Grill. Uh, dinner and a movie, Casino. Two movies at Rosebud tomorrow. Enchilada or barbecue plate sale. That's at Mount Sinai Church. Oh, that sounds delicious. And Saturday through Sunday, Victoria Fair Craft and Artisan Market. Sunday... Paddle the Powderhorn Shoreline. Interesting. Oh, and there's also um, 
a screening of Brave at the Five Points Museum of Contemporary Art Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Uh, let's see. Maker Fun Factory at the Jerusalem Family Praise Center. Tuesday is Summer Kids Day at Peter Piper Pizza. And, oh, Tombstone at Rosebud Fountain and Grill on Wednesday. And Arbor and Wonderland Casino Night. This is August 11th at the Victoria Community Center. Movie on the Knoll. <laughs> Power Rangers at the Cuero Mun Municipal Park at 9 p.m. It's free. Movie on the Knoll. It's a very cool name. Purple at the Park. Victoria Fair Craft and Artisan Market. That sounds like a lot of fun. I should go check that out. Get started early on my Christmas shopping. Perpetual Help Home to help fund, uh, to help host fundraiser. This is a story by Abigail Kovar, our intern whose last day was actually yesterday. Um, it's pretty tragic. I mean, she'll be fine, but it's tragic for us because we don't get to see her. ICE announces partnerships with 18 Texas jails. Very nice. And Farenthold to speak at a chamber luncheon. Congressman last spoke with groups several years ago. So if you'd like to uh, hear your congressman speak. And the grass fire is completely contained. This is um, the DeWitt County fire from Monday. Let's see. University group unhappy over memorial relocation. This is out of Dallas. Hmm. And in viewpoints, we've got an editorial um, tree issue causes governor to forget his roots. Uh, so we've got an editorial here by our board. For three Texas leaders, even some losses could be victories. <laughs> and this editorial cartoon is kind of funny. <laughs> uh, Gratitude Express for support of Bark, of Lo Bark for Life. Oh, man. Pack the Bus to Deliver Backpacks and Confidence by Abigail Kovar. All right. So they're taking, collect, they're collecting uh, school supplies on site Friday and Saturday at HEB. Achebe. VISD to discuss salaries and budget at special meeting. Substitute salaries would also increase. Hmm. A salary raise and stipend? Still sounds like it's just a stipend, but that's good though. And every bit helps. Let's see. Right. Yoka Museum offers a hundred years of history. Huh. New and old will be open through September twenty fourth. Nice. More from Film Camp. Oh, here's Slumber. Very nice. It's in front of USA Today. Oh wow. Spider sailed 6,000 miles across ocean millions of years ago. Alright. And 49% of patients say healthcare providers can improve satisfaction by providing advanced knowledge of care costs. Well, wow. Ohio City's Hispanics sent reeling after deportation. Ohio City's Hispanics sent reeling. Wow.
can't imagine. Oh, we've got Facebook Live shows that they're promoting on um, in their print product. That's cool. So, um, let's see. More news from Trump. Disease gene is edited out of human embryos. Hmm. Editing genes. Unbuckled riders in the back seat can be deadly We're for the driver. That's a good here. thing to point out. Wow. Three one zero five. Three one zero five. She's about to add. They're in the downstairs apartment, and she's in the upstairs. Well, I want to go back to that. What was that? Peanut That's butter jailbreak. The last of a dozen Alabama inmates who used peanut butter to dupe a guard and flee a county jail was in custody Wednesday after being caught in Florida. What? Inmates used peanut butter to mark a cell number on an outside door, tricking a new jail employee in a, in a control room to unlock the exit. What? That's crazy. Foiled by peanut butter. All right. Yeah. Bull run charges oh, yeah, onward. Obituaries today. In the front of sports, we've got a story by Marcus Gutierrez about St. Joseph's uh, football team. And there's video, so we'll check that out on the website. The yeah. story about the Generals game. And we have an up-to-date story on the web as well. This year with our deadlines being so early, um, you'll have to go online to read uh, the all of all the final scores so we'll work to make our web presence extra extra special on Saturday and you'll get the full story on um, in Sunday's paper all right going through classifieds ah get out playwriting festival allows audience to select play by Ismail Pires with no space it's all one word. <laughs> see. Oh, very nice. This is from Theatre Victoria. The winning playwright will get a cash prize of $200 and their play will be performed in Theatre Victoria's 41st season. Wow. So these are the three um, playwrights. Oh, what's this? A message about jewelry from a younger fashionista? Ah. A younger fashionista. Hmm. A 13 year old one. Hmm. Country duo to perform on Victoria stage. T.G. Shepard and Kel with Kelly Lane. Let's see. An event showcases Victoria talent. This is about slumber. Mm -hmm. 
we have the VISD Fine Arts Center Friday and Saturday. And then we've got a column here by Joe Fryer um, about the midwife. All right, and that's opening Friday at the River Oaks Theater in Houston, an hour and 57 minutes. All right, and here's a look at Spotted. This is curated by uh, Tony Vasquez. It's from Oliver. Everyone looks fabulous. Look at today's horoscopes. And the comics. Linnell Manti joined. Hey, Linnell, nice to see you. Samsung Note 7 owners are a forgiving bunch. Ooh. Ooh. Movie theaters getting pinched. AMC shares tumble 27% as summer box office slumps. It's unfortunate. McConaughey and Alba face off in Fantasy Dark Tower. Is this Stephen King? Yeah. Ooh. CBS under fire for lack of diversity again. And Despacito continues to be at the number one spot. It's got um, 101,800 downloads. Wow. It's like more than double than the, the song at the number two spot. Yeah, let's see. Lady Gaga, five world tour highlights. If you're a Lady Gaga fan, you better get today's newspaper. Let's see. USA Today Sports. All right, let's go to the website now. I'm gonna get rid of my picture and picture. Yes, okay. And let's go to FF Sports actually. So I said that there was going to be a video, so we should go check it out. from St. Joseph's uh, football practice. short, eight seconds.
Okay. And let's see. Oh, we've got a comment. Go Flyers. Let's see. I don't think I played this yesterday for y'all, but we'll look at it from our YouTube page. If you don't follow us on on YouTube yet, please do. You can actually um, pull up our channel on your smart TV, um, so you can watch all of our uh, videos at home um, and on your on your television screen, not just your computer screen. Um, is a story, is the video from a story that ran in yesterday's paper, but I'm not sure, I don't think we played the video, so. So that was by Angela Piazza, and we'll switch screens here. All right. Well, thanks so much um, for checking out today's news with me today, and hope to see you tomorrow. I um, wasn't here yesterday because I was feeling really sick, so hopefully tomorrow um, that is not the situation. And we have our 115 meeting today of our afternoon news meeting. All the editors will be there. And let's see what else. Yeah. There's um, a 10 a.m. screening of Brave at the Five Points Museum of Contemporary Art. It's free. I'll be there. And uh, we've got fruit and um, some snacks for you guys to enjoy. I hope you, guys, I hope you have a great Thursday. Talk to you later.